thank you for stopping by, officer. She'll be just fine. Now, why don't you just run along and write some tickets, hmm? Great. I'll start with the limo parked out front in the red zone. <laughs> Go ahead, give the tickets. Give it ten bloody tickets. I don't care. I feel sorry for that poor bloke whose limo it is. <laughs> Come on, Miss Fine. When you fall off a horse, it's very important that you get right back on. Oh, Mr. Sheffield, that horse analogy never worked with me. If I fall off a horse, I'm calling Jacoby and Myers. <laughs> <laughs> well, meanwhile, that little talk Brighton had with Miss Babcock seems to be working out well. You talking to me? <laughs> Are you talking to me? <laughs> It's fine, it's fine. Calm down. That's not him. Honestly, every corner we turn, you think you've seen the assailant. Well, that other one really looked like him. That was Yoko Ono. <laughs> Yoko Ono? Oh, I love the way she sings. <laughs> All right, I know. I've got the album. <laughs> God, it's you. No, don't be scared. I'm not scared. This man is an expert at Thai Babylonia. That's... That's Taekwondo, Miss Fine. Uh, I'm bad. I'm bad. Ah! Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I swear, I've never stolen anything before in my life. I've been dying to tell you, but I'm not allowed within 40 feet of your house. Why, you single and Jewish? <laughs> you see, I'm just down on my luck. I can't pay my bills. Well, get a job. I repossessed my car. Take a bus. I had to move in with my mother. Oh, give him a 50. <laughs> I don't know how to make it up to you, but I thought I'd start by returning something that looked really important. Oh, my lipstick, my lipstick! <laughs> oh, my God, my Shakespeare! Say, if you're a Shakespeare fan, there's a festival in New Jersey. I'd be honored if you'd let me treat you to two tickets. I don't think so. Oh, Mr. Sheffield, the kids are gonna be away all weekend at tennis camp, and besides, we would pass by the Donna Karen outlet store in Secaucus. <laughs> You know what? We'll go on Saturday, but not too close, because it's very talky. They spit. Bless you. Thank you. It's fine. To borrow from your vernacular, I'm not schlepping out to New Jersey just to relieve your mugger's conscience. Oh, Mr. Sheffield, forgive and forget. It's like my grandmother always says, all's well that ends well. That's from Shakespeare, Miss Fine. And again, she got nothing. <laughs> Don't look, Miss Fine, but there's a man in a trench coat headed this way. Oh, no, that guy's just selling Rolexes. You know, I should get one for my father. Uh, come here. <laughs> Open up. Let me see what you got. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll tell you, Hamlet is my new favorite play. People eating prime ribs with their hands. <laughs> Everybody stabbing each other in the back. <laughs> Now you put Polonius in a pound of blue tux, you got my cousin Claudine's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good to have you back, Miss Fine. I missed you. Oh, Mr. Sheffield. Is that you talking, or is it that bottle of Dom Corleone we had in the limo? <laughs> That's Dom Perignon, Miss Fine. Whoever. <laughs> oh, Miss Fine. <laughs> Fran. Mr. Max? <laughs> oh my God! Jeffy, cleaned out. What are the odds? One night that we went to the theater. I'd say the odds are pretty good when the robber gives us the bloody tickets, Miss Fine. Goodness in everyone. Eh? Well, at least he left the one thing that can't be replaced. Oh, Niles. Oh yeah, Niles. <laughs> Oh, my God, I wonder if he took the Monet. Oh, you're right, my earrings! <laughs> you go ahead, Maxwell. See what's missing. I'll untie Niles. <laughs> Thank you. 